So what are we going to need to build all of this functionality? Well, the first thing we're going to need is PhantomJS. And this is a headless browser. Essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be rendering the contents of that template I showed you a moment ago, so this one here. And then what we're gonna be doing is taking a snapshot of it using PhantomJS. So we're not using any complicated code to generate PDFs, we're just taking a picture of a web page. That's as simple as it gets. So we're gonna need PhantomJS. What you're gonna to need to do is you're gonna to need to download it for your operating system. What we're not going to be doing is detecting which operating system we're working on, uh, but you can go ahead and build that in later. So you're either going to need it for Windows, Mac or Linux, and once you have that downloaded, you'll be ready to go with that. The next thing is, if you don't have Composer already, we're going to be pulling down a few dependencies with this. And we're also going to be PSR4 autoloading. You don't need to do that, but we'll cover this later on. As long as you have Composer installed and you can run Composer in your terminal, then you're good to go. Or if you've downloaded the phar file, you can run php composer.phar and then any of the commands that we'll be running. So the next thing is Twig. We're going to be pulling this down with Composer. And Twig is just a templating language for PHP. And this will allow us to render that view uh, much more easily than requiring files in and then replacing variables. It's just going to be a little bit neater. Of course, you can not use Twig eventually once you've built this, but it's a good idea to use something like this uh, when you're doing what we're doing. So we're also going to be using two Symfony components, the process component. This is going to allow us to execute commands, and the command that we're going to be executing is phantom.js. That's going to run a script, and that's going to take a snapshot of the website, and then we're going to save that file and render it as a PDF. The next thing we're going to use is the HTTP foundation component from Symfony. And this will just allow us to respond and allow the user to download the file as a PDF. You can do this in raw PHP, but it's a lot easier using this component. So that's everything we need to get going. We're going to be writing all the code ourselves. Obviously, these dependencies we're not going to be building ourselves because that would be uh, a long process. However, once you have all these, we're ready to move on to the next part where we're going to start building out this class.